So to animate a smart art graphic, what we need to do is firstly animate the whole thing. So the way we do that is by clicking on animations here at the top and just choose any animation. So I'm just going to choose fade. So that's just going to fade in. And if you look in this content panel over here, you can see that the, uh, the animations occurred, occurred here. So if you're using whatever version of PowerPoint, I'm just going to use this. So if you're using PowerPoint 2010, uh, you should have smart art in that as well. You can use the following to animate it step by step. So it's a piece by piece So make sure the smart art graphic is selected. Um, and then under the animations, there is uh, effect options. Uh, this is the 2010 version. So you can then go one by one level by level. So if you've got 2010, fine, use that. If not, you can, let me just move myself out of the way here. Just use this little drop down menu there on the right hand side. So when you click on that drop down menu, then you've got an option that says effect options. You can see that there, effect options. So click on effect options, and then the effect options box appears there. Uh, and then notice there's a little tab at the top that says Smart Art Animation. This is very similar to the chart animation. And if you haven't had opportunity, please have a look at the chart animation video uh, if you haven't already done so. So there we got our Smart Art Animation. So click on that. And at the moment, the group graphic it says as one object. But as you can see, if I zoom in, you have plenty of options. So just have a muck around with some of this and see how this works. So you've got all at once, so as one object, one by one, by level at once, by level one by one. Let's do one by one. So I'm going to click on the drop down list and choose one by one. Click on OK. And then I can see each one of these appearing. Now, the idea of animation is, well, it's not to overkill. It's really not to show off and say how wonderful that your animations are. It's really a measure of control in your presentations. So say, for instance, we start off with this animation here. We're talking about the training booking process. And I want to talk about the first aspect of it. And the first aspect is filling out the inquiry form. I can go and talk about filling out an inquiry form before I move on to the next, the next um, aspect, automated email is sent to confirm receipt. And then what I can do in this way is I can control the presentation. In, in that way, somebody's not going to be, if I just go all the way down, talking about booking form is filled in and returned, confirming the course. And we're talking about that when we're still talking about the client replies with the specific requirements. So I hope that makes sense. So there we've gone. We've gone to inserting and converting SmartArt uh, and animating it and coloring it as well. Now, one last thing, if we just add in a new slide, so if you go to home and new slide, and I'm just going to choose title and content, so we've got a new slide here. What I'm going to do is add in smart art animation from scratch. You can either choose this button here, or you can go to uh, insert and smart art at the top. However you do it, I'm going to just choose this button here. You can choose a various degree of smart art animation, some of which have pictures in as well, where you can insert pictures that will make a lot of difference. So there we go. So if you want to, I'd suggest that you look at our other PowerPoint training videos. Uh, videos. If you haven't yet subscribed, then give it a, uh, a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as we will regularly be releasing more videos. Thank you so much for watching.